What's going on, iBug family? It's a brand new day that God has made, and we want to thank you for taking the time to show up, sew up, and serve up. This is the third Sunday of April, and at IBLC, we are choosing consistency in 2023. Here we go, family. These are your trending topics for the week. Tithing our time. God has given us our lives, and the least we can do is give him our time. So you know what that means? It's time for tithing our time. Now, it's not this this week, but the following week, April the 24th, 25th, and 26th, we are going to get a great word from God through Pastor Rush, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it's always good stuff. So join us for tithing our time, not this week, but the following week, April the 24th through the 26th at 7 p.m. only at IBOC. IBOC shout out. Shout out to IBOC teenager Angel Bell. She is a sophomore at Waxahachie high school and last week she competed in a district track meet and she finished fourth in the 100 meter hurdles great job angel Shout out to Julian Gates. He's a big time member of the iBot camera crew. He went to iBot schools and this is his senior year of high school. It's coming to an end. He played football. He plays baseball. And in just a few months, he will be graduating from Carter High School and he will earn his associate's degree from Dallas College. We are super proud to announce that in the fall, he plans on attending Alabama State University. University. Julian Gates, we are super proud of you. And finally, and finally, at the University of Dreams, we be spelling. We had an inspiring, intense spelling bee this year, and we want to congratulate all of our participants and our winners in the junior division. Arden and Dason took first and second place in the intermediate division. Avani won first place, and Kellen was the runner up. And in the upper division, Chad Barnes won first place, and Devin. Walker won second place. We are proud of you. I say we are proud of you. Those are your trending topics for the week. And all the glory goes to God. I had so much fun at IBOC Church last Sunday. I will definitely be back to get more turkey legs. Listen, folks, you just had to be there. Quite frankly, the event at IBOC was big. It was huge. The ice cream was good, and I must confess, I took Joe Biden's turkey leg. Sunday to remember. Resurrection Sunday at IBOC was absolutely amazing. And if you were not there, it's almost impossible to review. But here is a short attempt. This is an inspiring list of 10 things that we loved about IBOC Member Appreciation Day. Here we go, number 10. Our Easter service was amazing. Oh, our Easter service was amazing. Now, don't get me wrong. Every service at IBOC is fantastic. But last week we saw so many familiar faces. The building was crowded. The balcony was crowded. The choir was praising. The sermon entitled The Greatest Challenge of Your Life is definitely worth seeing again. Go to our Facebook page and go to our YouTube page and watch it again. Number nine. I bought the iBuck egg hunt, man. When church was over, it was time for the egg hunt. We had so many people. We had so many eggs outside. The kids got some eggs. The teenagers got some eggs. The grown people acting like kids. They even got some eggs. And then it was time for the fun to continue. Number eight. The rides. The rides, the rides, the rides were so amazing. We had some of the classic rides that we've had before. And we also had some new rides that were safe and fun for everybody. It was like the State Fair moved to Oak Cliff. God bless you, Big Tex. Number seven! The food! The food! Oh my goodness! You can't have a celebration at IBOC without some good, good food. So many choices, so many flavors, and so many smiling faces. Number six! Number six! The fun activity! When DJ Brian Qualls is on the mic, everything is all right. The musical chairs was a big attraction again this year, and there were so many 
fun things to do from Play-Doh to painting to touch tanks. What was that in there? I don't know. Turtles, you can't leave out those bounce houses. Man, inside and outside, it was nothing but fun, fun, fun. Let's go to number five. I cream, you heard it right, it's not ice cream, but it's Ibach I cream, and it was a hit. Pastor Rush and the Ibach teenagers served this sweet treat for the entire afternoon, and the good news is, I cream at IBOC is here to stay. Let's go to number four, number four. The volunteers. The volunteers, you just wouldn't believe how many people worked behind the scenes to make this event happen. I'm talking about from egg stuffers to brothers on the grill. We had so many volunteers working hard outside and cleaning up inside. And this is what we call I Bach Excellence. Let's go to number three. Our amazing I Bach members. It was so great to see so many of our I Bach members just having fun and enjoying themselves having a good time. This event was for you because as Pastor Rush always says, you are worth it. Let's go to number two. I'm talking about planning, meetings, setup, breakdown, more meetings, directing, singing, preaching, egging, is that a word? I'm not sure. Ice creaming and showing appreciation. He was the first one here. He was the last one to leave. That's what he always does. Pastor Rush, we appreciate you. And now now, here we go. Number one, what do we enjoy most about Liver Appreciation Day? Jesus Rose. Woo! We have the victory because our Savior paid the ultimate price for our sins. And no matter what we go through in our lives, we can rise again. So thank you, Jesus, for saving our lives. And thank you, God, for an amazing church like IBOC. Yeah.